Today we'll be making a no fuss, easy sew bag from I Made That Bag, an accessories company in Brooklyn that allows you to customize your orders. The kits range from $15 to $55 and include options like card holders, sunglass cases, journal covers, and a name your own price mystery bundle, which we opted for in addition to our customized kit. You make all design choices, selecting the color of the fabric, thread, and clasp. You can further customize like we did by adding an emboss. The kit comes with this leather body with perforated edges, so you have a guide to follow as you stitch. Also included are two needles and thread to sew, and instructions. Before we assemble the bag, we're going to paint it to make it truly our own. Clean the bag with alcohol to wipe off any oils that may be on the surface and would keep the paint from sticking. I'm no artist, so I'll be using a stencil to help me create a cute design. I'm just going to tape down the bag and stencil to hold them in place while I paint, ensuring that the design stays clean. Now that I'm done painting, I'm going to lay the fabric out to dry for about half an hour before I apply the acrylic finisher. In the meantime, I'll work on bag number two. For a mystery bundle, we received a luggage tag which I'll be painting with tape as a guide. By creating narrow lines to paint between and layering in different colors horizontally and vertically, I'm creating a simplified plaid-like design. After applying the finisher, the items need to dry for another half hour before they can be handled. Now that the items are dry, they're ready to be stitched together. There are two stitching methods to choose from, cross stitch or straight stitch. Sewing can seem daunting, but thankfully the needlepoints are not sharp and the instructions are easy to follow. I haven't sewn in years, but given the simplicity, I was able to quickly finish the stitching. The very last step of assembly is to close the seam, which we do by tying two knots at the end here, cutting the excess thread, and lighting the remaining ends on fire. This melts the thread's wax coating and tightly fuses the seam closed, providing a more reliable finish than an all alone wood. I'm a bit of a klutz, so this step initially worried me, but the threads have a slow burn rate, making this step as safe as lighting a candle. This is the finished product, and it holds essentials like a cell phone, coffee card, or chapstick for a day on the go. The acrylic finisher is keeping the paint in place, and the stitching looks great. I think these kits are worthwhile because I now have an item that's both unique to myself and provided an hour of entertainment while I made it. I'm really proud of my work, and the bag is very strong, so it'll last a long time. But if it were to break, since I made it, I'm sure I could fix it too.